What's up guys, it's Kristen, here today with the intimidating TBR pile tag. And I was tagged for this by Amanda from Amanda Center, and if you have not checked out her channel already, please do yourself a favor and head on over there because she is just amazing. Now, I'm not gonna lie and say that I have a genuinely intimidating TBR pile because I only have about 20 books on my physical TBR pile and I know to most people that's like literally nothing. But for some reason, even that small number genuinely stresses me out. I don't know why, it doesn't make any sense. And I don't mean to be all like, oh, look how amazing I am that I don't have a huge TBR pile. If you have 5,000 books on your TBR pile, all the power to you. I've never really kept a large TBR pile because like I said, having a lot of unread books for whatever reason stresses me out. And then on top of that, my shelves are quickly getting filled up. This is like prime real estate here. And then obviously budget constraints, so I can only purchase so many books a month. Hence, I usually go to the library for most of my books. And if I check a book out and don't end up reading it, then it just goes right back to the library. Anyways, I'm getting myself off on a tangent here. The point is I have enough books to fill all of the questions for this tag. So let's get started. And the first question is a book that you have not been able to finish. And for me, that is Beowulf. I tried to read it a couple years ago, but only made it about a quarter of the way through. I don't know if this is one that you kind of have to read in school and have explained to you. You know, the language is clearly very different, but I just don't want to give up on it. And I really Really want to try and give it another shot and persevere. Also, I haven't finished Tarzan of the Apes. I was assigned this in university for one of my lit classes and I only made it halfway through because we had a million other readings to do. Then I picked it up again a year or so ago but then didn't finish it again and like Beowulf, I still really want to because it's one of those books that even though it seems very simple and stereotypical of the time, I think it has a lot of interesting themes in it. So hopefully I will get around to both of these books sometime soon. And question number two is which book have you not read because you haven't had the time, which obviously we always have time for reading, but the books that I use that excuse for the most are the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I am so ashamed that I have not read these. Well, technically I have read The Fellowship, but I was like 13 or 14. I can't even remember anything that happened in it. Obviously the whole trilogy together is going to take me a while to get through and I really do want to give it all of the time it needs and not rush through them. But mostly I think I'm just afraid that I'm not going to fall in love with them the way that I love the movies. They're actually my favorite movies of all time and what kind of horrible book lover would I be if I said that I loved the movies more than the books. Question number three is which book have you not read because it's a sequel and that would be The Austere Academy. This is the fifth book in Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events. I just read the fourth book last month, so hopefully I will read this one next month. And question number four is what is a brand new book? And my latest purchase is Infinitesimal, How a Dangerous Mathematical Theory Shaped the Modern World by Amir Alexander. I just got this for like five bucks off of Book Outlet, and this is like nerdiness on steroids. It is a history of math and y'all know that I like very bizarre nonfiction books so I'm actually really excited for it. Question number five is a book that you haven't read because you read another book by the same author and you didn't really enjoy it and I don't have an answer for this one because honestly if I don't enjoy one book by an author I would be very hesitant to pick up another one by them. Question number six is a book that you have not been in the mood for and that would be The Man in the Iron Mask by Alexandre Dumas. I picked this up at a library sale for like 50 cents years ago and I swear there has never been a day that I have felt like reading it but it has stayed on my shelf all this time. Of course that's probably partially because I saw that 90s movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and I don't even know if I can read this without reading the other books in the Three Musketeers series. Question number seven is a humongous book on your TBR pile, and I am currently tackling the biggest book on my TBR pile. If you saw my TBR for the month of May, it is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell. It is 1,006 pages. In terms of books that I have not read at all, I would have to go back to The Lord of the Rings. Obviously, all three of them together is quite chunky. 
Question number eight is a book that you have not read yet because it was kind of a cover buy and then it turned out to not have great reviews. And for me, that is The Children's Home by Charles Lambert. I am still very intrigued to read it, but after seeing a lot of not great reviews on Goodreads, I'm just more hesitant to pick it up now. And lastly, what is the most intimidating book on your TBR? And for me, that is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I don't know why this book just terrifies me. I've had this on my shelf for like three years now when usually I read a book within a few months of purchasing it and every year I keep telling myself that I can only read it in the month of October. That's like the only time of year when it will be fun to read and then October comes and goes every year and then I say whoops I guess I have to wait till next year. I did read the first chapter or so when I first got it and I remember thinking that the writing was quite dense and then I've heard some people say that it is a very difficult classic so that just put me off even more, but if anybody has read Dracula and you loved it, please assure me that it's not as scary as I think it is. Question number 10 is who you would like to tag in this, and I would like to tag Allison from Allison Tuggle, Marie from Marie Berg, and Vanessa from Paper Fairy. So that is it for all of the questions in the tag, and I hope you guys maybe enjoyed seeing some of the books on my TBR, and I would love to hear what is the single most intimidating book on your TBR pile. And as always, please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!